welcome back guys to another video and uh, sorry for the delay in video guys because uh, I was traveling from past uh, week and I was not able to make any videos so today I'm making a video on the latest version of hydrogen OS beta released for uh, oneplus 3 and oneplus 3t so for oneplus 3t it is beta 10 and for oneplus 3 it's beta 16 so guys both the download links i have mentioned in the description below you can download from there and today i'll be showing you uh, what are the features they have included in this and there are few customizations and improvements on this uh, latest file so we'll take a look after uh, installing the same so first what we do is we'll show you how to install that because uh, many of my users told me to install using stock recovery without device is rooted so guys i have completely made my device stock there is no twrp recovery installed on this and the bootloader is also uh, logged i'll be flashing using official recovery of oxygen os so what I do is I'll just show you the file which I have downloaded. I go to file manager internal storage and in this I have a file here. So this is the main zip file which was released yesterday by uh, OnePlus. So this is the latest beta version and it includes uh, the latest version of launcher that is 2.1. So let's get started. First we'll reboot a device to recovery and if you guys do not want to install using recovery you can also use adb side load but what i'll be doing is i'll install using uh, recovery which takes a uh, little less time compared to adb side load so we reboot uh, i'll first power off my device so now i press volume down and power key together and once i see this logo i'll release the power key and volume together and now you can see i have the stock recovery installed i select language as english and i go to install First what I'll do is uh, guys if you are uh, using some other room or if you are on oxygen I would recommend you to do a factory reset. What I'll do I'll first install this uh, firmware and after that I'll do a factory reset. So I'll install this installing package I'll select yes and we'll wait for it to get installed. So now installation process has been completed I'll go I'll click on yes and I'll do a factory reset. So I erase everything and after that I'll reboot my device so now it is done I'll just reboot the device we'll wait for the device to get reboot once once the device reboots will complete initial setup and we'll see what are the change logs available and what are the new features added in this firmware so once a device boots up uh, we just click on this and here we select language as uh, English this ROM supports uh, English language as usual so we click next and we select here fonts we again click next you can see it is completely different now you have few uh, reddish color options available here and in this i'll connect my wi-fi so now it's connected i click next and give permission i ignore on this skip fingerprints and in this here you also get an uh, gesture option you can select whatever gesture you want or now the setup has been completed there is no much difference but uh, there are few minor changes in the launcher so we'll take a look on that first we go to settings and see we go to about and you can see it is hydrogen os beta version 16 open beta version 16 i'm sorry phone is uh, oneplus 3 and it is still based on android 7.1.1 and the security patch is still first may which is an outdated security patch so let's uh, ignore on this and uh, now first thing what they mention according to their uh, website and the change logs they say they have uh, updated their desktop version to 2.1 which brings uh, lots of new feature so i'll show you their launcher you can see launcher version 2.1 this is the new uh, launcher from oneplus and uh, next they say weather and calendar supports dynamic icon display so you can see now the weather is cloudy outside uh, you'll get an icon of clouds on this weather application and at same as calendar you get the uh, today is first july so you get in first uh, data is uh, first displayed on the home screen itself next they say added a new desktop widget weather widget so let's go to widgets and check weather widget yes it's here so it says oneplus widget and you can get it over here on the screen and you get your weather along with the date 
and they also say that you can resize this yes uh, the option is available to resize this if you guys want to keep this you can keep this or uh, if you want to make it smaller you can make it small also next they have uh, is desktop setting in the new desktop layout option you can adjust the number of columns and icon size desktop icons so here you get an option to adjust the uh, icon size and the desktop layout so we go to settings and here we have uh, home screen layout you can see in this you have an option of columns you can select three four or five columns and also you have an option of icon size if you guys want bigger icon you can select this or if you want to keep them very small and decrease the number of uh, columns you can adjust from here and uh, once this is done and uh, if you select it from here after that if you go to uh, your settings and display and from there if you try to change uh, display size uh, we go to set display and if you try to change display size from here the icons won't get affected from here it will normally uh, reduce the size of the text whatever is available but icons won't be affected whatever you have selected will remain the same and they also say the uh, application drawer uh, first line shows recent searches so in this if you go up and if you search apps here it will always display the uh, recent search apps uh, in the first line next they have newly installed application with the blue dot logo fast and easy to find so if you install any new app you will get a blue dot uh, logo on the application Next, they have improved the visual effects of uh, widget selection page. Yes, they have uh, just made few changes in the widget selection that you must have seen. You can see they have completely uh, made some improvements here. You have complete segregation now. So the next, we move to what are the features they have added in this uh, update. So in this, they have added uh, two uh, features which I have noticed that is Bluetooth device power display I won't be able to show you because I have no uh, Bluetooth device or else uh, if you guys have Bluetooth uh, device available just connect your Bluetooth it will show you the battery percentage of the Bluetooth device and uh, if you guys are facing any issue or if you are not able to find that do let me know in the comments because right now I'm not having any Bluetooth device so won't be able to show you next uh, they say sms content automatically recognize email address so if you have an a a sms which uh, consists of email address it will automatically recognize that email uh, email address of from that message next they say contact lunar birthday reminder so i think that's some um, korean uh, lunar birthday i'm not sure about it i have not studied much and uh, these are the uh, things which they have added next we move to optimizations uh, and under optimization they say uh, desktop clock widget supports uh, resizing okay uh, so this is a clock widget uh, let's yes you can see it supports resizing here and uh, the same also supports in this uh, weather widget so you can resize it from here and you have few options available you can select the countries uh, different different countries uh, to get the timing of those countries and in that uh, another one is update your browser input method so that is this browser which which I have never used whenever I install hydrogen OS I completely remove the Chinese application so in which this also gets removed another one optimized call interface call animation that is if you will get to know they have just optimized the um, call animation nothing much and uh, the last one in optimization they have optimized uh, bluetooth device compatibility and the last what uh, section they have updated in their change logs is repair so under repair all the problem glory of king drop down status bar will stop operating so yes that's a game which i have never played uh, some issues were there with the status bar in, the, in that game so that has been solved and the last one is solve the problem nailed from camera to take pictures i never faced issues with this the camera which is available in hydrogen os that is pretty smooth it is very fast uh, compared to oxygen os so 
these are the changes and the change logs available in this firmware guys so if you guys want to update and if you guys also want to remove the chinese application there's a link in the description below you can just flash that uh, file using twrp recovery for that you need to have twrp recovery or else you won't be able to remove the chinese application and won't be able to install google application and to install google application you can move to description and i have also mentioned a video there a video link there which will help you guys to install google application so as of now that's all in this video guys uh, if you like the video do give me a thumbs up or if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe thanks for watching have a great day